Smith boy, man, you need to get yourself up. It is time for you to go Blu-ray hunting. You're already over a month late, you lazy twats. And also, don't forget to give me some weed. I'm desperate, and I know you've got money, so give me some weed, man. Rastafarian, you bloody piece of shit, lazy YouTuber boy. Excuse me, Rasta Smith boy. Last time I checked, you need to go get yourself a job, and then you've then got money to get your own shit. So go out, get yourself a job, and sort it out. I mean, after all, I took you in after your family broke you out of prison and decided you had to leave your home and you had to come move in with me. So if you want weed, get it yourself. Bloody Rastafarian weed smoking skunk smelling toss pot. Who you calling toss pot, you absolute bubblehead? I just want to get some weed and you can't even help me. I helped you when it came to the last video and you can't even pay me the back of just getting me just a little gram, please. I beg you. And if you don't, I can't be any more serious when I say this. I will not help you ever again because everyone seemed to like me and definitely not you, even Crazy J was like, oh my God, this is an absolute awesome, awesome guy. Now, please just give me some weed and I will pay you back, I promise. Ross the Smith boy, listen to me. You need to get yourself a job. I mean, hell, go to CEX. They love it when people end up reeking on monster and weed and God knows what else. You'll feel right at home. And then you've then got money earned. To get stuff like that, and also, speaking of which, you owe me 300 in rent, so you need to pay up when you can, or otherwise I'm going to have to kick you out, and you'll need to find yourself a place otherwise. So, sort it out, and let me please just enjoy my return, please. Alright, fine man, I'll go get myself a job. Also, I'm going to go get myself some food. What do you want? Do you want a Greg's? Or do you want something a little bit more stronger than that? No food for me, thanks. But please, I wish you good luck. I really hope you get the job. Hopefully you do shit in your video, man. Rastafarian, man. Pussy. Now he's gone. On with the video! Hey there guys, what's going on today? It is your boy Smith Boy back with a brand new video after a month of a nice little break and also a really nice holiday as well. Um, but yes, we're going to, of course, today, we're going to be going into Norwich and of course we're going to our favorite place ever being h &B because today is Monday, which you know what that means, it's Blu-ray hunting day! And we've also got a couple of surprise guests coming along and joining us today. Um, and you'll just have to wait and see who's going to be showing up. Uh, all I can say is it's going to be a very good day. Um, speaking of which, we've also got a couple of new releases today. In fact, you could say they're very fantastic. Um, with the fact that we have got the new release of Abigail. Um, and as well as that, we've also got a couple of other releases out today, but we're not going to waffle on too much. We're going to go out, we're going to enjoy. And I can say this now, it's good to be back. So without no further ado, let's do the one thing we're really good at and let's go get ourselves on the bus to H&V Norwich. Right, let's just quickly just check and make sure on h and V's website they've actually got it in 4K. Would be nice, wouldn't it? Um, and also, does it have a slip cover? Uh, let's have a little look. Um, Abigail 4K. Right, let's have a little look. Ah. 
I want it now! <laughs> Okay guys, so here I am outside HMV Norwich and I have actually got my special guests with me today. They are none other than the amazing Spider-Man himself, Slayer Reviews. Hello everyone. You're welcome Slayer, welcome back. Thank and you, we've also got someone else that has been out of action, that is Meg's Movies. <laughs> So obviously everyone's excited for when it comes to this amazing Blu-ray hunt today and what are we looking forward to picking up guys? Abigail. Oh yeah. So without no further ado, let's get into it. And in we go to HMV. We have currently got the new release that is Abigail on Blu-ray with no slippy slip cover and in an eco case. How disappointing. And this is here for £14.99. And here we have got another new release, which is Love Lies Bleeding, so Christian Stewart. And this is on Blu-ray for £14.99, not bad. And here we have got Titans, the, the fourth and the final season on DVD for £19.99. That's not bad, really, really good series, really enjoy Titans. And here we have also got the complete box set on the Blu-ray for £59.99. That's actually not that bad, but I might wait until it goes down a little bit in the price. And here we have got another new release, which is NCIS Sydney of season one on DVD for £19.99. 
not really been into that much of NCIS. And here we've got some of the previous couple of weeks new releases. Obviously with me being on holiday, I haven't really had the opportunity to show them across. But here we've got like challenges, Ghostbusters, Godzilla X Kong and also Immaculate starring Sydney Sweeney. Really, really good film. Really enjoyed it on Blu-ray for $14.99. We've also got as well when it comes to Kung Fu Panda 4. Um, I generally enjoyed it. It could have been better though, um, but it's here for £14.99 on Blu-ray in a eco. And here, another new release from a couple of weeks ago is Civil War. Not bad, £14.99 on Blu-ray. And we've also got uh, some more of the uh, previous week's new releases. And we've also got True Detective, Night Country and The Last Breath as well. Uh, for anyone that missed out the last ones, that was Weaver the Pooh and Monkey Man. And here for you Stitch lovers, we've got plenty of Funko Pops galore, including when he's in the prison suit at the start of the movie, a massive one, um, when he's in the Stitch uh, in the rocket. And we've also got a couple of Disney themed ones here. We've got Nightmare Before Christmas, not bad. And we've also got a couple of Frozen and Wish Funko Pops there too. And also Bambi as well. We've also got uh, some Naruto uh, Funko Pops there too. And continuing on, we've got plenty of Stitch match for you guys uh, that are Stitch fans. Absolutely incredible stuff here. Um, of course, you know what they always say, oh, Hannah means family and nobody gets left behind when it comes to buying this sort of stuff. And here we have got another new release, which is Die Monster Die. This is on the BFI range for £16.99. Not bad, really nice case. And here we have got another new release on the 4K, which is A Bittersweet Life. God, that sounds like me every single day. <laughs> and here it is for £24.99. And we've also got a couple of other new 4K releases. Uh, this is Gundam uh, for £29.99. This is the first film. And when there's one, there is two. We've got number two for uh, Mobile Suit Gundam. Uh, I can't even pronounce what it is for £29.99. And when there's two, there must be a third. Mobile Suit Gundam. There we go. Finally got there in the end. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> the nice covers though, I will admit, these do look pretty cool. And here we've got another one, it is Bruiser. I feel like I'm uh, cruising before bruising for this one. <laughs> but here it is for £24.99 and this is Indicator. And another Indicator film. You know, I'm actually looking for a single white female. It's um, whoever wants to be in a relationship and this is for £16.99. Uh, we've got another Indicator film which is The Pirates of... What was it? I can't even say what it was. Blood River. There we go. For eleven ninety nine, and another new release on Blu-ray. Clockwork Mice. Never heard of this at all, but here it is for fourteen pound ninety nine. Let me know if it's any good. And here we have got starring Michael Caine and Michael Gambon. What a movie! Bullet to Beijing on Blu-ray for fourteen pound ninety nine. That's not bad at all. And here we've got Le Chimera, uh, which is another new release. Uh, and it is here for £14.99 on the Blu-ray. And we've also got another indicator film called The Scarlet Blade. Looks very my bloody Valentine when it comes to the cover. I love it. But it's here for £11.99. And to turn things off, we have got, for you anime fans, and I'm not even going to bother saying the entire thing. Hey guys, so here we are. We are now finally finished our Blu-ray hunt. And of course... We have managed to pick up one of the main new releases today, which we're all very excited for, which is none other than of Abigail. Course, Abigail. That is what I like to call a fantastic trinity of the new releases picked up today. Gotta love it. And of course, once again, it was an absolute amazing having these guys with me today and absolutely enjoyed it. So much fun. Definitely looking forward to the next one. And of course, make sure that you also subscribe to these guys as well. You'll also see them when it comes to when we all meet up in London at the end of August, which is going to be absolutely mad. And as well as that, guys, if you did also enjoy the video and also uh, seeing a founder being Slayer, also Megan being Meg's movies come back, please don't forget to like and also don't forget to comment what you've also picked up today in the new releases for this week. And as well as that, if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to me and also these two as well if you haven't. And I will see you all in the next video. And like I always say as well, guys, 
make sure you remember to party hard. Play hard. And rock hard. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, on behalf of us three here, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care of yourselves and peace. So you thought that was over, huh? Well, believe me, it's just only the beginning. Now, just because I showed one new release does not mean that I have been busy purchasing many others today. And believe me, there was quite a haul, not just from my wallet, but also from my good friend Slayer reviews and also Meg's movies as well. We've all been very, very kind getting each other things and I'm going to show you what I've picked up first and then I'm going to show you what makes movies and Avanda being of course Slayer Reviews has kindly gone ahead and got for me as well. So starting off, one that Slayer Reviews actually did recommend me buying quite some time ago and I'm actually really thrilled to have this in my collection because I've never seen it before and I've heard extremely good things as well. It is none other than The Wolfman on Blu-ray. I can say this now, I have heard too many great stuff about this film and I'm absolutely over the flipping moon. <laughs> Let's see what I did there, because there's a moon. Okay, um, either way regardless, that's another one. Um, yeah, I'm very, very happy to have this in my collection and I'm definitely looking forward to giving this a watch. Next up, now of course, I mentioned that I was on holiday. Um, now this was actually one of the new releases that I happened to miss. Uh, because of the fact that I was on holiday and I was absolutely glad I wasn't able to pick it up on day one but I'm very glad to have it now it is none other than the sequel to Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey number two now I have seen this film before and it is vastly upgraded uh, towards the first one it is um, a bit of a shame that uh, some of the original cast members um, aren't in this, um, but either way, regardless, it is so more extreme than the first one and definitely, definitely enjoyed it. And I'm so happy that I've got that in my collection. Now, another one that I missed out, um, one that I actually did get recommended to watch as well by Slayer Reviews as well. It is a very, interesting movie with the fact that it's based on um, Japanese or yeah Japanese um, YouTubers um, pretty much go to this haunted asylum I think you know where this is going um, and um, pretty much uh, things go extremely bad for them it is none other than Kunjam Haunted Asylum again this is another film that I have seen before and it is a very, very good film. And again, another one that I wouldn't have minded getting on day one, but because obviously I was on holiday, I couldn't really do much about it. Um, but either way, regardless, it's such a good film. If you guys haven't seen it before, go check it out. It is a fantastic film and you'll definitely love it. It's definitely worth, it's, it's got everything what you need when it comes to uh, simple, um, different language horror film is very very good and now towards the ones that didn't come out of my wallet <laughs> now of course i'll start off with the ones that my good friend makes movies uh picked up for me today now this one i am a massive fan it is an absolute fantastic film um i have seen it multiple times and also if you guys are very well known towards this channel, I've also done a music video reaction to one of my favorite bands, Ice Nine Kills, that did a song based on this film. It is none other than Pet Cemetery. Now this is the original version. It's a shame it didn't have a slippy slip slip cover, but um, either way regardless, such a great film. Um, and with the fact as well, like obviously you've got the remake, which really isn't all that great. Then obviously you've got um, 
Pet Cemetery. Um, I think their TV series, um, which again isn't that very great. So it's always great uh, just to be happy with the original. Um, a bit like most uh, films and series, to be honest. Like Exorcist. Um, but no, anyway, moving on. Um, we have also got ourselves another new release courtesy of Mixed Movies. And I was extremely happy considering I also managed to order the steelbook for this film. And I will say this now, it is a stunning film. I have seen this in IMAX plenty of times with Slayer reviews and also without. And again, such a great film. It is none other than Godzilla, X-Kong, The New Empire. An absolutely phenomenal film. Um, again, one I wasn't unfortunately able to pick up on day one because I was in holiday soaking up some Spanish sun. Um, and yeah, either way regardless, thank you Megan for getting me this and also Pet Cemetery as well. I'm absolutely thrilled to anything that you have managed to do this for me after a thing you always do. Um, next from Meg's Movies, I think this is uh, becoming a bit of a pattern here. Um, and this is a film that I believe I've only seen once, but it's a very, very long time to the point where I've completely forgotten the entire plot of it. It is none other than Dog Soldiers. Now, from what I remember, it was a very, very good film. Don't get me wrong, but I feel like I need to rewatch this a couple of times just to get the memory straight. And I mean, with the fact that it's I mean, with the cover as well, it looks absolutely phenomenal. Again, would have been nice to have a slip cover, but cannot complain with that whatsoever. And then, of course, the Peace de la Resistance. And um, this is from my good friend, Slayer Reviews, who passed this on to me because he knew so much that I was wanting to have this in my collection. And he's also got it. He's recommended this to me so many times in the past and I think it's gotten to the point where it was just like it's either now or never and uh, it is none other than an American werewolf in London and again I mean no slip cover but either way regardless the front cover on that is absolutely incredible um love the artwork I actually um will be honest, I haven't seen this film for a long time either. Um, and I mean, with the fact that it's got David Norton and also um, it's directed by the guy that was behind the Blues Brothers movie and also Trading Places. Again, you cannot go wrong with this film whatsoever. And that is pretty much all she wrote when it comes to all the new releases. Um, I'm not gonna bother with the normal stuff because I pretty much mentioned it in the other video, but I will just obviously say the normal thing. Then don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. Um, and as well as that, guys, I hope you had an amazing time watching this video and also watching me Megan and also Evanda having such amazing fun today. It was definitely worth it and I'm looking forward to the next time I do a collab with those guys and many, many more as well. Um, and what a return as well. What a way to return. Um, definitely really, really happy uh, to be back again um, after over a month. I do apologize once again for um, obviously uh, not being around for that much, but you know, this boy's got to relax. <laughs> but anyway, I will see you all soon in the very next video. Take care of yourselves and... Hey, what's up, Smith boy, man? I got it, in it, man? Wait, you got the job? Oh, well done. No, I didn't get the job, you stupid bumba clot. I got my bloody glam of weeds. For fuck's sake. So... Did you even apply for the job? And also, how did you get the weed anyway? Where did you get it from? Well, to be quite honest, man, I actually asked Crazy J to see if he's got any of his own supply. It's funny because it smelled actually quite whiffy. 
And no, I didn't apply for the job, man, because I like what I do. It's been enjoying the hash where you are spending the cash. Crazy J gave you some wi- Oh no. Rasta Smith boy, don't eat that. It's, it's not what you think.